Hi there guys, hope everyone's keeping well. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone who watched my last video I did. Um, I wasn't expecting it to get that many views, so I was really pleased and thank you for all the likes and the comments. It's nice to see that some people out there actually remember the, uh, the um, game and remember playing it or remember having it as a kid or when they were younger. Um, but yeah, well, thank you very much for everyone that's watched that video. I'm really surprised how many views it got straight away within like a day. But um, today we are on the second part of Cheap Alternatives for Warhammer 40,000. Now this one, I don't know how many of you are aware of this game. This is um, Havoc, a skirmish battle set. This was produced by Bluebird. Yes should be a little I know there is a little sign on there somewhere that says um produced by Bluebird Toys might be on the back of the manual here we go so this was produced by Bluebird Toys back in 1997 um Bluebird if any of you do know they're the company that made Mighty Max Polly Pockets um Manta Force all those sorts of um, toys so they're quite used to making sort of diddy little miniatures so they had a had a go at making a sort of tabletop skirmish game battle game with miniatures and this is it this is my original copy I had this in 97 I went to my local Argos because I saw it in the catalogue and I think it was only about what 15 16 pounds 16.99 something like that so I went and picked it up and I've had it ever since. So we are going to have a little look because I think, A, it's a fun game. The story's really good. The miniatures are good. Not, obviously not up to par with sort of Citadel miniatures and Games Workshop and the likes. But they're good in their own way. And um, let's, just, let's just have a little look. So I'll just back out a bit. So this is everything you get in the main box. So you get miniatures, scenery... All the rules, cards, everything you need, everything you need to get playing. So we'll just have a little look at all the components. And go through, I'm not going to go through the rules, because the rules are a little bit sort of complicated. I mean, because I haven't played it for so long, I cannot remember how to play it. So I'm not going not gonna to go through the rules. But what you've basically got, if I open the booklet on the first page... You've got these, um, you've got the Khan Empire, who burst through a rift in space and are attacking the universe, or the galaxy that they burst into. And then you've got the Nexus Rebellion here, who are sort of all the free peoples of the galaxy and that, trying to fight against them and stop them. And then you've got a third faction, which sadly didn't get all their models released, I don't think. They never... They never um never got released a lot of them. Which is the Terravors, which are sort of I suppose you'd say a little bit like your sort of aliens. That sort of that sort of um creature. Or a bit like um oh gene stealers, tyranids. A little bit like that. When I show you the models, you'll sort of see what I mean. But yeah, so you've got the Khan Empire versus the Nexus Rebellion. With some aliens thrown in for good measure. So we'll start with the good guys. So this is the Nexus Rebellion. These are the models you get in the starter set. So you get a battle form, which is called a hundred battle form. Because apparently the Nexus stole a hundred of these battle forms from the Khan Empire and converted them to use them in their fight. So this is one of them you get in the set. Nice model. Reminds me a little bit of a Dreadnought, but if you look in the picture, they're actually more sort of Titan size rather than Dreadnought size. Quite big. Big machines. But the model is more to scale of a Dreadnought. And then your leader is a 100 Warrior, I believe. Let me just double check because I've got some cards here with all the different troop types on. 
I'll show you those properly in a minute. But they are, yep, yeah, the 100 Warrior, which is always accompanied by 100 Battle Forms, so they pretty much go together. These guys are a little bit like your Imperial Guard. These are called the 47th Line. Let's try and focus in. Come on, here we go. So as you noticed as well, I didn't say, these all models are all pre-painted. They come with bases that you can put stickers on, and then they're all pre-painted miniatures. So these guys are the 47th line, which are like your basic troop types for your Nexus Rebellion. You get three different sculpts. I think they're really nice. So yeah, that's your good guys. And then we move on to the Khan Empire. And they have a battle form as well, of their own, obviously. And this is theirs. Again, really nice. Really nice little model. And then we have... I'm going to forget this guy's name as well. I do apologise. Let me just go through the cards. It's always the one right at the bottom. The Form Warrior. So he is basically like your leader type as well. So this is the Form Warrior. That accompanies the Battle Forms. Quite a nice model. Dual sort of laser pistols there he's carrying. And then the troop types you get in this game is, these guys are called the Darker Sons, which are like an elite Khan troop, really heavily armoured, carrying like some sort of blaster and what looks like some sort of plasma weapon. So they're dual wielding, really tough guys. You get three of those. Again, different sculpts. Last one. Quite like the poses of these. Or um, sort of combat poses. So yeah, that's the, um, that's the models. Like I said, you get lots of cards, which I've now made a mess of. Which explain all the different troop types. So... Unfortunately, I don't think all of these models got released. You've got the um, Tribunes, or Tribunes, for the Rebellion. Then you've got the Nexus Trooper, which is like your basic troop type for the Nexus. You've got Kinsmen, who are like the heavy weapons, I believe. Um, you've got the Doom Guard, which are specialists at taking out um, the battle forms. We have Nexus Assault Troops, which again are pretty like sort of heavy weapons guys. There's your 47th line card. That's those guys. There's your 100 Warrior. You have the Brotherhoods, who are like sort of monks. They use close combat weapons, if I remember rightly. And then you've got stormtroopers, who are again, sort of special to troop types for combat in the Khan Empire. And then we'll move on to the Khan. Let's just grab all their cards. So there's lots of different, um, different troop types for these guys as well. So you've got these Orkian mercenaries. You've got the Form Warrior. There's his card. There's the Darker Sons. You've got the Khan Troopers. They're the basic troop type. You've got the Kayuns or Kayuns. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. They're like the hierarchy of the um, Khan Empire. You've got the Sumo Kai, who are like big. Bulky guys do a lot of do a lot of damage, can take a lot of damage. Glaive riders, which have like jetpacks uh, and heavy weapons, which are basically what they say, they're the heavy weapons troops, and then clan warriors, who are like your basic sort of infantry, like tribes and that for the um for the Khan. So that's that. But also you get the cards.
you get some vehicles. This is the card for the battle form for the Khan Empire. This is the Banshee, which is a flying vehicle for the Khan Empire. I do believe this did get released, if I remember rightly. Like I said, a lot of the models didn't get released, unfortunately. They only brought a certain amount. This is the Mauler Light Attack Tank for the Nexus. Then you have the Hammer Heavy Assault Tank for the Nexus. So even though they're the Rebels, the Nexus actually have a lot of firepower when it comes to um, vehicles. And then also the 100 Battle Form. That's the last card. And also in the set you get some nice little bit of cardboard scenery. This all comes with it. Four pieces of scenery there you can use. You get range rulers. You get two of these. Double sided. They're really nice. And the last thing you get, apart from the dice obviously. These are pretty basic dice. Those are attacks. Those explosions, I think, means you get an extra attack, and then you've obviously just got blanks for misses. Unfortunately, I can't remember what the D6 were used for, uh, so I apologise about that. But the last thing is you get these Terravore cards, so you get these razors, which were released, because I do have some of them, I will show you in a second. And you can see what I mean about the sort of Tyranid, tyranid theme there. So you've got the Razors, you've got these Hellhounds, which unfortunately I don't think these were ever released. And then the last ones were Screamers, which were like um, sort of psychic um, enemies, and they could also shoot as well with their special ability. Again, sadly, I don't think these ever got released because I've never seen any of the models anywhere. But yeah, so that is... That is the main battle sets, and also you could buy individual packs of the different troop types of some of them that were released in um, free packs. And I will show you some of them here for the Nexus first. I picked up these guys, they come in a little box set, you get your free models and your little cards with information and a little story. And I think they were about $1.99, $2.99 back in, back in the day, back in the shops then. So I picked up a few of these. So these are your Nexus Troopers. So these are like the basic infantry for the Rebellion. I picked these guys up. Definitely look like Imperial Guards, Cadian Shock Troops, along those lines. And then I picked up the Nexus Tribunes. These are sort of special close combat guys. I really like these, especially this is my favorite one with the ax here and the blaster and then you get two more with just close combat weapons there they are so that's those and let's just move them out of the way and then i picked up two packs for the khan empire as well i will show you so we got the khan troopers which are the basic troop type for the khan empire so they look a bit like the Darker Suns, but they're different coloured armour and slightly, slightly different armour. So you got three of these guys. And then I also picked up another pack of the Darker Suns as well. So I've got six Darker Suns now. I'm not going to show you because they're all exactly the same sculpt as the ones that you got in the, um, in the core game. But also, with some of these packs, you've got a free um, Terravore Razor miniature. So I got two of those, which I will show you. So here is the first one. So this is the Terravore. So I got that one, and then in one of the other boxes, I can't remember which one it was, I got this other sculpt as well. So I believe for each, each group, there is three different sculpts. So there's one more sculpt out there of the Terravore Razor, but I haven't got it. But yeah, there you go. That is um, Havoc, a skirmish battle set. Um, what's the tagline? A Savage Universe in Miniatures, skirmish battle set. 
This time the victory or defeat shall be yours. But yeah, um, so in regards to a cheap alternative to um, Warhammer 40k or anything like that, you can, I mean, you can see for yourself, you've got everything you need to play a game here. Everything comes in the set. You can pick these sets up on eBay. I've seen some of them complete going for like 25, maybe 30 pounds. Not much more than that. And they've all been complete. Some have even come with extra miniatures, extra troop types and that, which is really good. But yeah, um, in regards to alternatives, I'd say this is, this is quite a good way to get started. Um... If you haven't got much money, if you can't afford to buy the big army sets and that for like Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, whatever you're playing, even Kill Team. I was actually thinking about it before I started filming this video, that you could actually, instead of having a great big open battle on the tabletop, you can actually use these guys in like an enclosed space. So you could have your 47th line going through an abandoned spaceship or a space station being chased around by Terravors. So obviously a bit like, bit like Alien, really. Or Space Hulk. Again, you could use these for so many, so many different scenarios, games. You could split them up and make yourself small teams for Kill Team. Um, just swap the miniatures out. Use the same rule set, but just use these miniatures instead. And also, they're really fun. Like um, My kids used to play with these all the time when they were younger. This game used to see a lot of um, action on the table. We were also getting it out and just making up our own rules. And just having little skirmishes and battles. But yeah, there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful. And... Um, I look forward to hearing from you with your comments if anyone has ever heard of this game or if anyone's owned it or still does that'd be really cool to hear from you but um, well thank you for watching guys and I will see you all very soon take care bye bye